Hi and welcome to your Core Motion Fitness Bar class. Um, today's class you're going to need um, a mat and a chair or countertop or a table um, and then also a set of dumbbells or hand weights or even water bottles would work fine too. I'm going to be using five pound dumbbells today but anything between three and um, you know five to eight pounds will be just fine okay so we're gonna go ahead and start with a warm-up and then we'll get right into the workout let's go ahead and take your feet um, a little bit wider than hip distance apart our toes are gonna be angled out toward the corners of our mat we're gonna roll our shoulders up back and around keeping our knees nice and soft and then move those arms out to the side we're gonna take a nice knee bend known as a plie in bar class so plie big arm reach overhead squeezing through your backside let's continue that down inhale and exhale lift now if this position is not comfortable for your knees okay you are welcome to take this into more of a squat with your hips going back behind you so big inhale down exhale up as you take that exhale feel free to even lift up and back opening through the front of your body and let's take two more right here and on this next one I want you to hold your arms out to the side right here sink down into a plie and we are going to add some pulses so pulsing, we're just making small movements with our legs, down an inch, up an inch, knees are pointing out toward the toes. Again, the option is always to press your hips back if you need to. Keep going. We've got four, three, two, we'll start from the top, big inhale down, exhale, lift. Again, you've got four of these. Good job. And one more time right now, we'll stop right through the middle and pulse it down, eight seven and here's four three we'll repeat that one last time here we go inhale down exhale up good two more and one more time and hold center for eight now adding a little more arm movement here I'm gonna have you cross your arms forward and back so alternating which arm crosses in front and then to add just a little bit more take your right heel lift it off the ground as you continue to pulse and switch to your left heel so feeling a nice stretch on the bottom of the foot three two one and hold good both heel, heels to the ground hinge forward at your hips nice flat back knees are soft here and we'll bend both knees and roll it all the way up let's try that whole pattern from the beginning so inhale down exhale up and two more Good, last one here, and hold and pulse it now. Add in the arms right away. Good, opening through the chest and back. And now add your right heel, lift it off the ground. Continue to pulse, and switch to the left heel. Left heel up, and two more, and hold. Both heels to the ground, hinge forward at the hips, nice flat back, and bend both knees, and roll yourself slowly up and around let's take this into side lunges so moving to the right side first okay toes point a little more forward in this one so nice easy stretch to the side and switch so your hips are back your chest is up we'll go slow to begin with and then we'll pick up that tempo to bring the heart rate up so here we go a little faster now and it's side side good work inner thigh stretch and adding on you're going to reach across your body so if that's not comfortable for you, you can just take a shoulder across your body as well. And here's four, three, two, and hold right here. Hands back to your hips. We're gonna pulse down and back. So heels of the hands come together. Your weight is going into your heels like you're sitting into a chair and switch to the other side right here and begin to pulse. Now, if you can see my knee, it's lined up with my toes. Okay, we're not leaning off to one side. Here's three, two, one, and hold. Let's slow it down again. Easy does it. Ah, and one more slow on each side. All right, pick up that pace. Add the arms right here. So releasing through our upper back. And you've got one more on each side right here. And hold to the right, hold. Hands together and pulse. Good job. We've got three, two, one, switch sides and pulse. Is the hip going back. If you don't want to pulse, you just hold this position. Here's three, two, 
two, we repeat one more time. So side to side, slow. Maybe reaching toward the ground, going a little bit deeper. All right, on this next one, speed it up and add the reaches. Cross your body. One more for each side and hold to the right, hold heels of the hands together. Good, a little bit of pressure through those hands. Activate the chest, three, two, switch, and continue to pulse. Hips are down and back. Good, we've got three, two, one, and right up through the center. Popcorn your legs, and then bring the heels of your feet together. You're in a small V position or first position if you ever were a dancer. All right, so you probably feel your heart rate coming up. All your big muscles are getting warm. We're gonna stretch out through our ankles and feet a little bit before we add some weights into the warm up. So roll your shoulders back in place, hands on the hips or wherever you're most comfortable. We're gonna releve. Releve means that we lift our heels off the ground. Our knees are soft, okay, but not bent. So we're not ever locking out our legs, but keeping a nice soft knee. So what happens a lot of times with these releves is that we rock onto the sides of our feet. So really think about planting your big toe gripping the ground with the big toe and you're gonna feel your calves getting very warm here in just a moment and two more all right hold here now take this into a plie so plie our knees open toward our toes our tailbone is slightly tucked we go down and up so plie now if this doesn't feel good on your knees again just like when we warmed up the big plie you can take your hips back I know it looks a little funny but it really takes the pressure off the knees if that's what you need. Two more. We're gonna combine this. So releve, plie. Here we go, releve, plie. Releve, plie. Now, every time you plie, your heels go to the ground. It's gonna really cause your Achilles to stretch, which is what we want right now. Up. So keep it slow and controlled, not rushing. And we've got two more just like that. And here's your last one. Now hold this plie down, we're gonna pulse. Pulse it down, down. As you're pulsing, you're rotating open from the hips, feeling a good squeeze in your backside. Here's three, two, one, releve up. Let's do it again. Here's seven, six, five, four, three, and releve up. Now sets of three. Here's three, two, one, releve, and three. Oh, ankle flexion, it feels so good. And one more set of three, just like that. And then we're gonna take it back to the top. So popcorn those legs a little bit. Adding arms challenges your balance. So if you don't wanna do that, keep your hands on your hips. So arms out to the side. They don't have to be ballet arms. Just reach them nice and strong out to the side. And we releve. Here we go. Good. Now, if you'd like a challenge, your challenge is to rise or raise your arms up overhead and hold them there. Notice how the core has to work harder to sustain your balance. Three, two, one, and plies. Here we go, plie and stretch. So we're gonna reach behind our body and then we're gonna reach in front of our body. So tap the fingers behind, cross the arms in front. Again, just keeping posture and waking up the upper body, getting ready for weights, which are coming next. Okay, so plie, stretch. Every time you stretch, you're zipping up your inner thighs and standing tall. You've got two more. And last one, hold, pulse at seven, six, five, four, three, releve. Check it out, here we go. Arms are optional. And here's three, two, one, releve. Good, now threes, two, one, releve, again, three. It's hard to balance, I know. You can do it. And last time here, three, two, now hold, hold, hold. Balance, 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 squeeze your backside nice and tight. And release. Okay, popcorn the legs, we're gonna move right into our weight set. So go ahead and grab your dumbbells or water bottles, whatever you have. Get a drink of water and we're moving on. Our bodies are warmed up. Okay, so like I said, I'm using five pound hand weights. Generally in a bar class, you may see two different sets of weights, like threes and fives or something like that, but 
you use whatever you have and if you don't have any weights, then you just use your muscles and you go through the motions and you squeeze the muscles tightly as we go. So we're gonna start in that small V again. Palms are facing forward, shoulders are rolled back. We'll go through arms first and then we'll add legs if you would like. So bicep curls up, full range. So one thing that you see in a bar class is that we work, um, I'm sorry, we work with lightweight and then we work to fatigue, okay? Then we'll stretch out those muscles and then we'll repeat or we'll move on to the next thing. So I know you have lightweight, it's not as much as you're used to lifting, but keep in mind we're working to fatigue. So this is gentle, full range of motion. We're gonna make it a little bit smaller. I want you to stop halfway and pulse your weights towards your ears or towards your face, okay? So activating the biceps here, keep going. And here's four, three, two, one. Good, now we're gonna turn our weights so our palms are facing in and we're gonna reach up, alternating arms. Now keep in mind, your knees are soft, not locked. Good. If at any time you need to modify or take out a move, please feel free to do that. Good. And you've got one more on each side right here. Now both arms are gonna pulse halfway up. So right above the top of the head, squeeze your biceps tight, keep going. And we've got four, three, two, one, and release. Good, roll your shoulders back and around. Good, rotate the arms. Give those biceps a break. Now we're gonna add legs into that bicep set, okay? So, beginning with that plie and a bicep curl. So we curl and plie and release. Curl and release. And again, legs are optional. You can give them a break knowing that you're gonna be working them like crazy as we head to our bar or chair, whatever you're using. We've got two more right here. Good job. And I want you to hold the plie here and pulse, pulse. Now if you wanna work harder, bring your elbows up higher, tuck your hips a little bit more and sink into your plie. Good job. We've got four, three, two, turn your hands, good. And pulse, and pulse. So alternating arm lifts as you pulse with the legs, just like the warm up. Good, spread your toes out. Keep going, here's four and three, two, get ready for both arms at the same time, ready and pulse. You're gonna hold your legs still and pulse the arms. There we go, almost there. Here's four, three, two, one, ah, oh, release. Okay, we're gonna set our weights down for just a moment and give, our, give ourselves a stretch. So roll your arms around, take your fingers, gently pull back towards your body, being mindful that you're not yanking too hard on the wrist, and then switch to the other side. Nice bicep release. Okay, moving right along. We're gonna pick up those weights again. So grab a hold. This time, <clears throat> we're gonna take our right leg, or feet forward, we're gonna take our right leg back behind, okay? and you're gonna feel a nice stretch in your calf right here. Roll your shoulders back around. We're gonna hinge forward at our hips here. So our knee is lined with our toes. We're gonna to row and extend the arms. So we row up with both arms. We extend, we bring them in, and release, okay? So hinging forward on that hip um, really puts a lot of pressure in that front leg to stabilize, so let's begin. We pull, extend, in, and down. And if that's a little too much, you can always have both feet together to modify that. Good, let's do two more. And last one, we're gonna hold both arms up and back. Okay, so turning to the side here. Both arms are straight and we're gonna pulse up. So straight arm pulse, rear delts, triceps working hard. And here's three, two, one. Release it all the way down. Roll your shoulders around. Let's try it again and pull. Extend, in, and down. Good, two more just like this. We're gonna repeat those pulses again. So hold and pulse, straight arms, come on, extend. And here's three, two, one, release. Good, take your feet, switch them up. The other leg goes back behind, and we'll again, hinge forward. Enjoy that stretch for the back leg. Same arm pattern, and we pull, extend, and down, so back, triceps, shoulders, all working together here. Now if you need to modify, you can do one arm at a time, just like this, and same with the pulses. 
Last time, hold up, pull, straight arms. Come on, lift them up. You got it, three, two, one, release, reset, and hands reach down. Let's go one more time, and pull, extend, in. Two more just like this, come on, you've got it. I know it's burning, we're getting to that fatigue. Pulse right here, seven, six, five, four, and last one, and release, good. We're gonna set our weights down, once again, stretch out the muscles that just work so hard. So wiggle your fingers, pull that arm, cross your body, and release. Now, same arm, okay? We're just gonna swing it up and around, ah, creating some movement in that shoulder joint. And now take your other arm across your body. Wiggle your fingers, keep your knees soft, and swing that arm across your body. Good job, we're not quite done. A little more to go here. And last one, okay. We're gonna pick up our weights again. This time, we're gonna work overhead tricep extensions with curtsy lunges. So, we're gonna take our weights together. If two weights is too much, just use one. Put both weights up overhead and extend those hands back behind you and press back up. So, knees are soft. We'll add the legs in in just a few moments. Okay, let's do one more. Now you're gonna take your right leg and step behind as you move into that tricep extension. Belly button points forward and then tap to the side. Here we go. So a light tap to the side. Belly button's pointing forward so we're not turning our body here. And you've got two more. Good, last one. And hold right here. Now option to keep the toe tapping to the ground or float it off the ground. Okay, we're gonna pulse right through the middle. So press up, okay, with those tricep extensions. Almost there. Three, two, one, and release. Good, bring your hands down. Wiggle your arms a little bit. We're gonna move on to the other side. So first, no legs, just tricep overhead extensions. And you've got two more. All right, moving on, left leg, coming behind into your curtsy lunge and tap. Curtsy lunge. Good, chin is off the chest. And you've got two more right here. And last one. And hold, option to keep the toe on the ground. Lift it if you'd like to. Bring your hands down, press up. And here's seven, six, five, four, and two, one more, and done. All right, weights come down. Let's set them down to the ground. Whew. Arms are feeling a little dead at this point, but we're gonna bring one arm up. Reach your fingers down your back and just lift up and back. Now you're gonna tip over to one side and then release, good. Shake that arm out. Take the other arm, lift the elbow up and back. Knees are soft. And then tip up and over. Ah. And release, okay. We are gonna move onto the floor for a push-up set. Again, following that same pattern of um, burning out. So we're gonna start kind of in modified position, push-up positions. We're gonna burn out with pulses and uh, slow tempos, and then we'll stretch and we'll move on, okay? So push-ups first. <clears throat> so no weight needed. I'm gonna show you your modification first. You can do push-ups from tabletop position with your knees on the floor and your hands out to the side. Now in bar, we're gonna take our push-ups onto the front of our legs with our heels together, our hips slightly tucked, our elbows go out at an angle, so they're not 90 degrees. They kind of push back at an angle to activate our chest and back and keep our neck and shoulders safe. So two count push up right here. Two counts down, exhale, push back up. Good, let's keep going. Two down. And one more time. All right, three counts down. Three, two, one, big push up. And two more. All right, we're feeling that fatigue. Now we've got single push-ups, ready, go. Here's seven, six, five, four, three. We're not done. We're gonna stay in the bottom, so go down, now press up for seven, six, five, come on, four, three, and one, all the way up, and rock back. Good, stay here for a moment, drop your elbows to your mat, rotate your wrists around, all right, moving on. So next up, 
Okay, open your arms out. Next up, we have tricep push-ups. Okay, so these can be done a couple different ways. Hands can be underneath the shoulders with the elbows going next to your ribs. You can even turn your hands in slightly to make more of a, tri a triangle or diamond push-up um, if this position doesn't feel great on your wrists, okay? So again, first option is tabletop with the elbows coming down to the mat, or you can come onto the front of your legs, heels together, and move into the same um, push-up position as before. So hands closer, working the triceps. We'll do two counts down, two counts up. Here we go. Two down. And it's okay if your range of motion is a little bit shorter than with your regular push-ups. That's no problem. Good, three counts down. Three, two, one. You're gonna feel the burnout happen a lot sooner with these tricep push-ups, trust me. And one more time. All right, we've got singles, ready? Let's go. Seven, six, hug those elbows in tight. Butts are tucked under, here's three, two. Now go halfway down and press up for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, and rock back. Oh my goodness, that was hard. Whew. All right, guys. Moving on. We are gonna do some glute and hip activation before we head to the bar, just so those muscles are ready to work, our mind and body is connected, so we can really feel the muscles working properly um, at the right phase. So go onto your hands and knees. Now if you need to, if it's too much time on your hands, you can go to your knuckles, okay? Or you can even drop your elbows to the ground, okay? I'm gonna use my knuckles here. So flat back, we're gonna take our right leg, okay? Abdominals are pulled in, we're gonna extend that right leg back behind, and we're gonna bring our heel toward our backside. Slowly bring it in, squeeze your hamstring and butt, and then extend it back out. Good, keep going, heel in. Think about the muscles working here. So I feel my hamstring engage, I feel my glute, I also feel my stabilizing hip or medial glute on the other side. One more time like this, we're gonna change it up, hold right here, toes to the ceiling. I want you to press up. Without arching your back, just press those toes to the ceiling. Here's three, two, one, release. Sit back. Okay, so that was your right leg working. Take your hands to the left. And let's go ahead and switch to the other side. So reset and core engaged. Extend the leg, left leg. Slowly bring your heel toward your backside and extend. Good, let's do a couple more here. Really pulling tight. Good job, one more time and hold toes to the ceiling. Press up, up up without arching remember hips are tucked slightly here's three two one and release so left leg working hands go to the right Ooh. all right we're gonna flip over and use those weights one more time and work our chest so go ahead and grab the weights roll onto your back <clears throat> I know, bar seems like it's all about legs, right? But it's actually a full body workout, which is really wonderful. Very gentle on the body, gentle on your joints, no jumping, and a lot of lightweight burnout, which is so good for the joints. Okay, so our hips are on the ground to begin with. We're gonna take our weights up right in front of our chest. Elbows are soft. We're gonna open our arms out into a chest fly and then slowly bring them back in. So easy does it. Two counts open and then squeeze through your chest. If you have really light weights, and you might not feel it in the beginning, but trust me, we are gonna burn out, and then you will. Good, keep going. And you've got two more at this pace. All right, guys, we are gonna move on to single time. So, a little bit shorter distance, open, close, without your back arching off the floor. Four, and three, neck is relaxed. Now you're gonna open all the way out, not all the way to the floor, but all the way open. And I want you to do a half squeeze in. So squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Come on, activate your chest. Almost there. Here's three, two, one, and bring it all the way in. 
and release. Good, we're gonna lift our hips on this next one, all right? So hips are lifting high, glutes are squeezing tight, arms start up. As we open our arms, our hips are gonna lower to the ground. So we lower down nice and slow, and then squeeze back up. Two counts down, two counts up. And remember, the option is just to use the arms only. You don't have to incorporate the legs. And two more. Good work. And last one here. Now, single time. Our hips are only gonna go halfway down, all right? Shorten the distance. So down, up, down, up. Good. Keep going. You've got three and two and one. Hold, hips stay high, arms open and pulse. Pulse, pulse, good. Arms only. And here's three, two, and I want you to challenge yourself. Keep your arms open and pulse your hips. Good, up, up, keep squeezing the chest. And three, two, one, everything comes down. Hey, weights are by your side, arms are open wide, and you're gonna reach them up over your head, arch through the small of your back. Take both legs, extend them up, and release those hamstrings, and we are ready to move to the bar. So, roll yourself up to a seated position. Okay, make sure your weights are out of the way so that you're not gonna step on them when you're next to your chair or table or whatever you're using, and get a drink of water. Okay, so a chair that's about hip height, maybe a little taller, somewhere between hips and ribs is a really good um, position and something that's a little bit sturdy. I mean, if you're using a folding chair, I mean, it will work, but you want to be careful not to put a lot of weight on it. So this chair is pretty sturdy. I still wouldn't put all my weight on it, but it will hold me in place better than a folding chair. All right, so to begin with, we're going to take our heels together in that small V position again, okay? Tailbone is tucked under, shoulders are rolled back. We're going to work all areas of our lower body at the bar today. So beginning with a small plie here, hands on the bar. Now, if this feels pretty good and you want to use your hands on your hip and challenge balance and not use the bar at all, please feel free to do that. But for sake of bar class, we're going to be right here at our bar. So small V position, we're going to take our right leg, extend it out to the side. Now, if you'll notice here, my, the top of my foot is still pointing up. I haven't rotated down. I'm still in my external rotation position. So sinking down into a, a demi plie in that standing leg or supporting leg. From here, we're gonna do slight toe taps, like the floor is hot, okay? You don't wanna tap it very long, so just easy taps, okay? Tap down, tap down. Now you notice I'm not leaning to the side, but I'm centered right through the middle of my body. Good, here's four, and three, two, and one, hold. Now pulse it up, pulse up, up, up. Now if this is too much turnout in the hips, just slightly move your foot forward, okay? And here's four, three, two, one, good. We're gonna take these toes and tuck them behind into a plie and then extend. So plie, extend. It's not a flick, but it's a lengthening of that leg. Good, keep going. Here's four and three, two, one more time and done. Good, both heels together. Shake out your legs and let's get ready to move to the other side. So start in your plie, okay? Left leg extends to the side, shoulders are rolled back, and the floor is hot, so tap down, 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 down. And again, always think about the turnout in your hips. If you find that your knee is rolling down to the floor, open it back up, knee points toward the ceiling. Here's three, two, one, hold up. Now pulse up, ready, pulse up, up. So not only is that moving leg working, your stabilizing leg is working so hard to keep you in position. Here's three, two, one, hold. Now, bend the left knee, tap the toe behind, and extend. So, plie and stretch. Good. I know, that standing leg is on fire. Almost there. We've got three more. And two, and one, and bring it all in. Good, popcorn the legs. Little plie stretch if you need to. Moving on, we're gonna work the back. Glutes from the same position and then we'll take a stretch. All right, so back into your plie or your small V. Now, same thing, you're gonna point the toes back, okay? 
So now this time your knee is slightly turned out. If you find that your knee is pointing toward the ground and you've closed up your hips, open them back up. So from here, glutes are engaged, standing leg is bent, right? Again, the floor is hot, so start slightly above the floor and tap down, 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 down. Standing leg, nice and soft and stable. Almost there, four, three, two, hold. Now lift up, pulse up, up, up. So you should feel fire in your glutes. They should be so tight and so hot right now from working so hard. Almost there, here's four, three, and hold. Now bend this knee, bring it in, plie and extend. Plie, extend, it's not fast. And you've got four more and three, and one more time, and done. Good, bring that leg in, popcorn the legs, get ready for the other side. So small V, plie the legs, extend back, zip up tall, floor is hot, tap down, down, down. Good, tighten up those glutes. Hey, we're not just kinda going through the motions here. Tap, tap like a staccato movement. Almost there, four, three, two, hold, and pulse up, up, up. Can you go deeper into your standing plie? I know it hurts. And here's three, two, one, hold, bend your left knee, bring it into a plie, and extend. And in, but we're not looking for height, we're looking for length. And here's four, and three, and two, and last one, hold, and bring it in. Okay, popcorn those legs. Let's give a quick stretch and then we'll move on. So take one leg up behind, doesn't matter which one. Knees are close, lean back. So put some pressure from your foot into your hand and hold. Good, from here, same leg that you're holding onto, cross it over, hold onto your chair and sink down. Ooh, that feels good. And you can even kind of move your hips side to side here in this figure four stretch to really get the full range of the stretch. And done, all right, other side. Knees are close, lift up and back. Push your foot into your hand like a pedal. And take that top leg, flex the foot, and sink down nice and low. All right, moving on. Okay, so we're gonna turn so that one side is toward the bar and the other side is open. Okay, we're gonna start in our small V once again. <clears throat> this time we're gonna be working to the front and then we'll move into some big second position plies um, after that. Okay, so starting in our small V, hand on the bar or on your chair. Remember, you're not gripping, just, it's there just for balance. Hand can be out to the side or it can be on your hip, whatever is most comfortable. But from this V position, point your toes out in front. Okay? I know this seems like a lot of ballet, but this external rotation in your hips is so good okay, for flexibility and range of motion in one of our biggest joints. <clears throat> so again, the floor is hot, so point your toes. Quads are engaged all the way down through the toes and hand out, and we're just tapping, 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 tapping. And remember, this can be right here. But if your knee is pointing up, you need to open and rotate. Three, two, one, hold. Now lift up, up, up. Up. So now we're starting to feel that engagement into the inner part of our quad. Very underworked part of the muscles. Almost there, four, three. Now I'm gonna change this one. We're not gonna go all the way in like we did before. We're just gonna go halfway in, okay? So it's a bend and then a stretch back out. It's like someone's pulling and then you're pulling in the opposite direction. So pull, push, pull, push. Knee opens to the side. Four, three, two, one and release, good, move your hips side to side. Whew. Give them a little breather. Okay, outside leg, steps out. You may need to kind of walk your feet into position here. You're not in a full second position where you're like really wide, okay? Enough that you can do a plie, but also a releve. So test out your releve, make sure you can come up onto your toes from this position. So again, hands out to the side or on the hip, and we're gonna plie and stretch and lift that arm up, out and up. And again, if you don't wanna use the bar, then just have your other arm out to the side. Good, your tailbone is tucked, okay? And we are just sinking right down. Oops, sorry, I got off. Down and up, let's do two more. Good, last one right here. 
and hold. Good, bring that arm back out. Pop your outside heel off the ground. Plie and stretch. So make changes if you need to. Move the legs if you're not in a good position. And you've got two more here. And last one. Now hold back down in your plie and I want you to pulse down. Now each pulse, take it a little bit deeper, okay? Good, keep going. And you've got four, three, two, hold. Option to stay with one heel or go to both heels off the ground. Now you're gonna feel some shaking going on in your legs, right? I already feel it. Hold here. I want you to fan your knees back without rocking onto your baby toes. Just put pressure, fan your knees back, squeeze your glutes, work that external rotation. Might not look like very much is happening, but you can feel it. Almost there. Four, three, two, one. Ah, oh, release, good. Popcorn the legs, good job. All right, I'm gonna move my chair to the other side so that you can see me. You do what you need to do so that you can see me as well. Okay, so we're gonna, oops, sorry, start on our small V and we'll go to the front and then we'll go into that side position. So hand on the bar, starting in your plie, okay? Knees rotated out. Take your outside toes, extend them forward, lift up, engage the quad and tap, tap, tap. Remember, floor is hot. Tap it down. Good, all the while zipping up here, testing your balance every once in a while. Four, three, two, hold, and now pulse up. Come on, squeeze, squeeze, engage, engage. More, four, three, two, hold, okay? Bend, stretch, bend, stretch. Now, it's not a release of the muscles when you bend, okay? They're still so engaged. Pull, push, pull, push, four, three, two, one, and release. Good, popcorn the legs, and then step it out into a second position. Arm out to the side, and plie, and stretch. Good job. And again, remember that you can go into a squat at any time if this plie is not a good position for your knees or hips. Good, you've got two more. And last one right here. Good, hold it back down and take your outside heel and pulse. We're going straight down the middle. Ooh, all the toes connected to the ground. And four, three, two, hold. If you want to, pop the inside heel off the ground as well. Get a little bit deeper and push the knees back, back, back. Now it's not in, back, in, back. It's just a fan backwards. And here's six, five, four, everything's shaking. Three, two, one, ah, oh, release. Okay, shake those legs out. We are gonna stretch it out once again, okay, before we move on to the next set. So I want you to go ahead and bring one knee into your body. Rotate your ankle around. Good job. We're gonna step this leg back behind, drop our heel to the ground, tip forward at our hips. And switch to the other side. Bring it in, rotate your ankle, both directions, and then step that leg back, heel to the ground. And moving on, okay. So from here, we're gonna start in a lunging position. So both feet are pointing forward. We'll take our leg back. You might need to adjust as needed, but we're gonna start with our back knee tucked underneath our hips. So if you need to go a little closer to your bar so you can reach, I want you to do that. Now I'm gonna challenge you to lift your front heel off the ground and work from a releve in both positions. If that's not for you, only your back heel is lifted, front heel on the ground. So pop the front heel, make changes if you need to, and you're gonna go down and up, okay, straight down, straight up. And you're gonna notice that your front knee wants to do a little bit of wobbling, so you've gotta control it. Straight down, straight up, keep going. Three, and two, one more time. Good, we're gonna hold down on this next one. Now I want you to imagine you've got a ball between your legs, and you're gonna squeeze it together. So inner thighs squeezing towards one another. Good, and here's four, three, two, one, good, tip forward onto your front leg. You're gonna bring your forearms to your bar. You might need to adjust. And back leg is going to come up. We're gonna bring our heel in and out. So flex the foot in and point the toes out. A little hamstring work, similar to what we did in the warm up. And flex and push. 
and you've got two more here. Last one, hold that flexed foot, press up, 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 bend your standing leg, come on. It's more like it's up and back, but really up. Three, two, one, and done. Oh, so the leg that was extended, I want you to put it forward and rock back so that that leg gets a hamstring stretch. We'll repeat on the other side, beginning with your lunges. So set your feet up. Okay, first get into that lunging position. Make sure you can have your hands lightly resting on the bar or chair. Pop your front heel, separate your legs so they're hip distance apart, and it's down and up. Ooh, great release for the hip flexor of that back leg. I love it. Get that front heel a little bit higher. And four, and three, two, one more time. We're going right back down, hold. Now squeeze your inner thighs together. Come on, squeeze, squeeze like you've got a ball. Squeeze it. And four, three, two, one, and release. Put pressure on the front leg, adjust if needed. Elbows or forearms to the bar. Okay, you're gonna flex in, point out. Standing leg is bent, so we're not here, locked out. Keep that standing leg bent. Squeeze, extend. Nice work. Really draw that heel in. You've got two more. And last one, hold and press your heel to the ceiling. Come on, press it up. Almost there. Four, three, two, one, and release. Swing that leg forward, hips go back. We are done at the bar and we're gonna move to our mat um, to finish up with core work and stretching for the end of this class. Whew. Okay, let's move that out of the way a little bit. Get a drink of water, meet me on the mat. Okay, so bar you've noticed has some uh, ballet components, some yoga components with the stretching, and now we're gonna add some Pilates components for the core um, activation. So we're gonna roll onto our back. <coughs> our hands are by our sides. And we're just gonna work through a few um, back and core activation exercises. So shoulders are away from the ears. I want you to exhale, lower your hips toward the mat, slightly tucking your pelvis up. Good. And inhale, release. And exhale. Good, little tuck of the hips, even your tailbone will make pop off the mat. And inhale again. And exhale. And last time right here, inhale. And exhale. All right, so we're not gonna stay in this tucked position for our core exercises. We wanna kinda be somewhere in between the inhale and exhale position. So let your sacrum, that flat part between your hips, rest on the mat. Your low back may or may not be touching the floor. You're in a neutral spine position, so you feel engagement through the abdominals. We're not open and we're not tucked. Somewhere right in between. So find that position, breathe deep into your abdominals. We're gonna lift one knee at a time, right here, and hold. From here, I want you to inhale, bring your knees in towards your body. Exhale, send them away, just a little bit. And inhale, bring them in. And exhale, push them away. Now don't let anything change in the positioning of your hips and back. And one more time, inhale. And exhale. Good, stop right in the middle. Bring your inner thighs a little bit closer to one another. Hands are by your side. We're gonna tuck our chin, gently roll our upper body up off of the mat, look down at our belly button reach our hands above the floor, and we're gonna pump our arms here. We're gonna inhale for five counts, and exhale through an open mouth for five counts. This is called hundreds. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. If you need to have your head on the ground, you can do hundreds from this position as well. So looking at the belly button, maybe you need to have a head, a hand behind your ear, that's fine too, and you just switch halfway. Keep going. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Keep your inner thigh squeezing tight together. And I'm gonna add a challenge. Extend one leg. And we're gonna extend the other leg. So switch, inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. One more in this position. And then one more challenge for you. Option to have bent knees or straight legs. Extending all the way out. Keep looking at your belly button. 
chin toward the chest. One more set of inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Hold and hug your knees. Turn your head to the right. Ah, and turn it to the left. And release right back through the center. Hug one knee in, extend the other leg out at a long diagonal. You're gonna take your hands on either side of your leg, right under your knee. Okay, beginning with the head on the floor and then we'll have the option to lift the head if you'd like to. So we're gonna inhale for two, exhale to switch. Inhale, gentle pull, exhale, switch. Inhale, inhale. So Pilates is really about the mind-body mind connection of breathing as we move our body through time and space. And one more time, inhale for two, exhale, hold. All right, option to roll your upper body up off the mat. Look at your belly button. Okay, same movement pattern. Inhale for two, exhale, switch. So not moving too fast, really working on the extension of the legs. And one more time, please. Inhale for two and exhale and hug your knees in toward your body and release. Put your feet on the ground, gently roll your hips up, lift your chin off of your chest, and release, good job. Okay, moving on. Hug your knees to your body. And we're not gonna go through all of our Pilates movements today, we're just going to go through a few, all right? So extend both legs up. We're gonna rotate our heels towards one another, kind of like that small V we did at the bar. Hands are by your sides. Now, if this causes any pain in your hips, I want you to bend your knees. So, we're just gonna do some hip circles. So roll your hips around, and then go in the opposite direction. You're gonna feel those circles happening on your sacrum. Okay, so let's get our breathing pattern in. Inhale, prepare, exhale around. Inhale at the top, exhale around. Okay, if you need to, right here, a little safer on the low back, and hips. Inhale, prepare. And one more time. And hold, hug your knees in. Bring your knees out to the side. Put the bottoms of your feet together for a quick hip and inner thigh stretch. And we've got scissors next. So bring your knees back together, legs go straight. Slight rotation of the heels inward toward one another. Go ahead and grab a hold of your right leg while your left one hovers above the ground. And you can hold onto your hamstring if you need to. Hold there for a moment and then switch the legs. Now, of course, we're gonna bring a breathing pattern into this. So go ahead and switch legs again. We're going to inhale for two. Inhale, inhale, exhale to switch. Inhale, inhale, exhale to switch. If that feels okay and you want a little more upper abdominal engagement, okay, you can roll your upper body up off the mat, reach your hands further down your legs, really adding power as you throw the legs into your hands. All the while looking down at your belly button. Let's do one more on each side right here. And last one, hug your knees to your body and release. Again, take your feet to the floor, knees out to the side and moving on. <clears throat> All right, the last thing we're gonna do is um, some scissors, some lateral scissors. So bring your knees back and extend them up. Rotate your heels, arms are out to the side. We're gonna open, pointing our toes out to the side, flex our feet back together, and again, point open, flex back in. Abdominals pull tight, neutral spine. So inhale, open, exhale, close. And one more like this. And now adding on, you're gonna beat your heels on either side of one another while the feet are flexed. So little heel beats, okay? Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Two more sets. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale. And one more set. Inhale and exhale. Now we're gonna put it all together. Hug your knees, quick breather. We'll go out and in and pulse, all right? So turn the heels towards one another. So it's out 
and then pulse two, three, four, and then out, and pulse two, three, four. Inhale, open, exhale, one, two, three, four. Keep going, alternating those legs on top of the other. And here's your last one, inhale, open, exhale, in, two, three, four. Hug your knees into your body and release. Okay, we're gonna take our feet to the floor, roll over onto our front side and finish in a plank position. So we'll take our elbows to the mat. <clears throat> we're gonna take our toes to the ground. Option to modify with your knees on the ground, but hold right here. So we've just got a quick 20 second hold, that's all, okay? Everything should be shaking and shuddering a little bit at this point because we worked so hard. So pull the abdominals in tight. Look out towards the end of your fingertips. Only five seconds left. And release. Drop your knees to the mat and rock back and stretch. All right, we're gonna roll over onto one side. Take our head in our hand. Take our top leg and put our foot into the hand. Release the quads, we're gonna release into the hip flexor as well. Hold here. You did such a great job today. Bar is challenging, but it is gentle enough on the body that it's something you can do on a regular basis. All right, we're gonna take this leg out in front, flex your foot, you're gonna feel that release down through the hamstrings. Just breathe nice and deep. All right, we're gonna stretch out our bottom leg, we're gonna bend our top leg. So maybe your foot needs to land down here. Maybe you have flexibility and you wanna bring it up a little higher. Either way, look at that stretch in the hips. Now I love to also take my top arm over and whether I'm down here on the ground or coming up onto an elbow, they both feel great. Good, and release. All right, we're gonna flip over <coughs> to the other side. And bring that top foot in, put pressure on the hand. Perfect. And moving on, let's take that leg out in front, flex the foot. Again, you can massage the hamstring a little if it needs it, even through the hips, if they're tight. Great, right, take that foot, go ahead and place it on the mat and move it as close as you can to your chest. Hold on nice and tight here. And then when you're ready, either stay here on the ground, top arm lifted, maybe you'd like to come up and add that side bend here. Good, we're gonna roll towards our mat, okay? So that we can get onto our hands and knees. We're gonna just roll into a nice cat-cow stretch here. And release. And we'll tuck our toes. We're gonna just gently rock ourselves back into a downward facing dog. Move your head side to side. And begin pedaling the feet, alternating which foot comes off the ground. And then begin to walk your hands toward your feet. Stay right here for a moment. Take your hands to your elbows and just sway side to side. Good, and take your hands to your thighs, extending through a nice flat back. And slowly roll yourself up. As you get up to the top, go ahead and take your right foot, place it behind your left. Lift both arms up, squeeze your inner thighs, lift up and back. And then just begin to move over toward the left side. Maybe you wanna reach, maybe your hands can stay connected. As you open up, bring your elbows down to your ribs, soften your knees. Now take your left foot behind, both arms lift up through the middle, squeeze your inner thighs together, and then begin to tip over to the side. And step your feet apart, pull your elbows down, keep your knees soft. All right, 
knees are soft, we're gonna just rotate our arms side to side. Easy death it. Let the arms stay all the way over to one side. Wrap them around your hips. Turn and look towards your back. And then switch, wrap them to the other side. Turn and look toward the back. And one more big inhale all the way up through the middle. And exhale. And you are done. Great job with your bar training today. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and feel free to do this every day or in segments as needed. I will see you again soon.